My brothers and sisters, this is a state project governed over by the state of New York. And the Economic State Development Corporation is supposed to provide oversight for this project. Kenneth Adams is the one who presides over that state agency. We're going to ask a good friend and a colleague who is the pastor of the Church of the Ascension in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, the Reverend John Murray, to come talk to us about necessary oversight for this project. Give him a round of applause. Good afternoon. I want to say, first of all, in full disclosure, you know, I'm a, I'm a native Brooklynite. I'm a lifelong basketball player and basketball fan. And many years ago, I switched over to the Nets because of the way the Knicks had built up and developed and all that. And I've been a season ticket holder for years. And uh, I gave up my season tickets because I can't come here and be part of this. Because no matter how plush the seat is, it's going to be uncomfortable. That's right. You can't be in there. And we don't want we want to encourage people not to be in there under any circumstances. So I want to talk a little bit about oversight. First off, no conversation about this project and oversight can begin without reminding us that Forest City Radnor has received over $250 million in subsidies based on promises of jobs and housing. We need to be reminded that eminent domain was used to acquire much of this land. We need to remember and never forget that this is no simple private development deal at all. This is a public project through and through. And our concerns are very, very public concerns because we're talking about massive subsidies given to this developer. The independence compli the independent compliance monitor, monitor as promised on page nine in the Co Community Benefits Agreement, and yet again in 2007, has not materialized. Let me explain this so people can understand this straight up. This is the largest development deal in Brooklyn history, done with public money, with the harshest tactics of the law to acquire the land, the housing and jobs have not materialized, and the person reporting on whether this is fair and just and right is Forest City Ratner, Come on. They got to get real. Let me tell you as a three-generation Brooklynite who has spent very, very little time in the country, that if you put me on the farm tomorrow, even I know that the fox is not the one to guard or do the reporting on the condition of the hen house. The fox has his own interests. He has other interests. Let's just call them private interests. And the fox is constitutionally incapable of understanding the needs of the whole farm. I might add it's one of God's wonderful inside jokes that Bruce Radner's next mascot is named Sly Fox. So it is. We want to applaud Hakeem Jeffries and his efforts to put legislation through that would limit these kinds of so sole decision-making powers for large state developments and putting proper oversight and compliance in place. In effect, in effect putting a fence between the fox and the hen house. What we want and demand here now is new efforts at transparency, a newly constituted independent compliance monitor appointed by elected officials and comprising local state yeah. stakeholders. Yeah. And what we need is a full office, not a person. Yeah. And the reason why is because the job, this project has too many parts to be overseen by just one person. In addition, as it now stands, this project stretches out over too long a period for community stakeholders to sit by and wait and see what happens right. in light of all that we see that has not happened. This project was supposed to be completed in 2013, then the date changed to 2019, and now it's 2025. We're, we're going to make sure that this happens now because the political and fiscal shell game of when and how this will all get done and what, what will become of the promises to the community will just keep on shifting. We know a little bit about Three Card Bonnie in Brooklyn. Forest City Ratner, I want you to hear a word from scripture that stands as a judgment on you. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. You have not done well at all with what you've been given. And that's why we are here re-energizing. The community's been shut out, 
and we're getting re-energized and we're going to gain more partners in this. And we demand that we get the oversight that we desire, legitimate, independent compliance monitors. And I want to say one note about development because I'm coming from over in Greenpoint. And one of the reasons we all got to band together is because what happens here determines what happens on the waterfront. And what happens on the waterfront determines what happens in central Brooklyn. And then what happens out in East New York. And then out, out all the way, all through the borough. And we got to stop these profit plantations now.